Welcome to individual agility for the medium dogs and also the final that will determine who will be the world champion in medium. We have a very exciting course today. We will take a look at the course map. Yes, yet again, Nicolas Renault is challenging the handlers to run incredibly fast while showing some strong independent behaviors and reliable verbal commands. And funny, this has been sort of a theme of his throughout this championship, don't you think? I think so. I really love the courses he has set up in this championship. I'm excited to see this course being run. It has some very tricky parts and it will require top class handling and obstacle skills for sure yet again we see that z-shaped weave entry and exit uh, and probably a lot of handling options going on there as well as in other parts of this course yes we've it's had two white dogs running this course first we had swedish first reserve um, helene levon with lisa running for to give the judge and the audience an opportunity to see how this course can be run. Now this line from the tunnel number four until obstacle number five seemed very difficult and challenging on paper, but both white dogs were actually able to pull it off quite nicely. Here we see the Z-shaped entrance exit off out of the weaves, and here is a run over the dog walk to hit that back side of 13 with a fast dog that's going to be quite challenging I think Lisa misses the number 15 jump here it seems easy but every jump needs to be handled Lisa is five years old and the first reserve for Sweden see that final turn from tunnel 21 until obstacle 22 is going to prove interesting is we see judge Nicolas Renault talking to some of the helpers He's done a tremendous job. I in ran this for him myself several times, and I have to say I'm a bit of a fan. Nicola really brings out the inner Usain Bolt in the handlers. <laughs> Here is the second white dog. This is a Colombian dog that unfortunately was measured into large, but the organizers have been nice enough to let them run as a white dog. That's good news for the Colombian team that have had so many setbacks in this championship with their Shelty Leela still missing after five days lost in Sweden. I can't imagine what the Colombians are feeling right now. It is just so sad. Actually, the first runner of this class is the, one of the owners of dog, uh, this dog, this missing dog. And um, of course, there are people looking for Leela all the time. The community and the organizers are doing everything. And we are starting to get ready to run medium agility, individual. This Judge is going to be Nicola so Renault. exciting. For this course, we also have a judge for the up contact on the dog walk. His name is Magne Alden and he's from Sweden. Now several of the predicted Here favorites. Here he is, that's Magne. That's Magne, yeah, right there. He's looking focused Whoa. and concentrated. <laughs> Several of our predicted favorites are out with faults or elimination after yesterday's jumping. Now, I, I say out because I'm going to assume, unless something extraordinary happens, that you need two clean runs to make it to the podium today. We have as much as 30 clean dogs coming out of jumping yesterday. I am not sure who this is on the line. It is definitely not our Colombian dog. They are probably out looking for Leela instead of running. From the color of the shirt, I would guess Slovenia. But it might be Lithuania. Doesn't make sense to me. It says it's Jidre Norvalite from Lithuania with her dog Jaspis. That's correct. So we're at number two. Poodle named Jaspis. 
It's looking good. Very smooth. Clean so far, just one jump to go. Quite tight turn there at the nice. end. Nice. Very good. 44 seconds and a clean run. What a way to start this final. So the first 25 dogs in this final were eliminated yesterday and they are giving their very best to get a placement in this run. Here out of Poland is Magdalena Gadomska and her poodle, Kudel. This dog is only two and a half years old and it's their first world championship. Very smooth handling there. Now this tricky part here with the seesaw going into the weaves. That's a perfect seesaw, very fast. Mm, no problems coming out of the weaves. Oh. And the dog misses the dog walk, goes in a tunnel and is eliminated. I think we're gonna see a lot of that because you cannot hang back there. Before the dog walk, you have to run to make it to the backside of 13. And then you just have to trust that your dog does what you, what you tell him to. A lot of tunnel traps here. Tunnel traps after the dog walk. Another tunnel trap after obstacle 19 going over the over 20. Let's see how many are tempted by this. Next is a Danish team. This is Jesper Kartensen with his Sheltie. Happy. Bit of a wide turn there. No problem getting to five. And this seesaw is very cleverly placed because if you stay with the dog at the seesaw to make sure the dog stays there until it hits the ground, then you're probably late for the weave entry. This is and true. Happy got two refusals at the weave entry. Up onto the dog walk. And she also goes yep. into that tunnel. That That's will... going to be a repetitive mistake we're going to see today. That tunnel is tempting. And especially when the handler goes running, goes sprinting for the backside of 13 there, a lot of dogs is just, are just gonna see that tunnel. I also like the ending here where you can save a lot of tenths of seconds having a really neat turn and not stressing towards the finish line. Dog just doesn't see that dog walk, goes straight into the tunnel. We have the first Lagotto Romagnolo ever in a world championship. This is Flora from Serbia with Mikala Tomic. And this dog is only two years old. Unfortunately, they are eliminated, but they keep going. And I think this dog, uh, that we will see it more times at the world championships and with more experience. For this absolutely is a, sure. This is a very young dog doing its best, but making some baby dog mistakes. And that's allowed. Very nice turns there. And also goes into that Another tunnel. Another one of those tunnel traps. So we have one clean run from Lithuania, Jaspis. And then we have three eliminations in a row. This course will be a challenge. So, talking to you today is Tonje from Norway. Hi, everyone. And my name is Fannegot from Sweden. Now, we've stacked up on paper tissues here because we suspect Fanny and me that this is going to be an emotional and exciting final. Very Ooh. much so. We have another elimination from Hugo Santos and Yugi from Portugal. <laughs> Only three years old, this dog, already at his second world championship. And he chooses this daring option, yes. going the other side of the dog walk, which no. gives the dog a nice line up onto the dog walk. But unfortunately, he missed the jump after. Watching the course walks, we actually saw quite a few of the handlers trying, attempting that solution. Running right side of the dog walk, you need to be super fast to make that happen. Unfortunately, the dog just didn't see the jump in time. Here's Brazilian team Marcela Françoso and her Pirchep Finwe. Ooh. Let's see what she does with this line out. 
that. That's a fly off, five faults, but a very nice weave entry and a rear cross. And how will she prevent the tunnel? Nice. Nicely done. Oh. So she got five faults for the dog walk contact and then the dog went straight into that tunnel. This is probably the trickiest part of this course, I would say, around the dog walk. Getting the dog to take the dog walk and not the tunnel and also finding that jump after the dog walk. Yep. Another elimination. Five eliminations in a row. Nicola Renault really inspiring people to get started on their uh, running training here. <laughs> From Austria, we have a Moody named Peach with Lucas Egner. Very fast dog, this. Nice seesaw, and he goes the oh, outside of the tire. Lucas. What a nice thought he had there. Yes, that could have been very nice, but mm. the dog missed the weave entry. We have two refusals at the weaves for Peach and Quite a, dropped a dramatic bar. knocked bar there. And he, he in fact, he tore down the whole obstacle. Yes, he attempted to go on the right side of the dog walk, but didn't make it to the next jump. So close. But we have a veteran coming up from South Africa. Africa. This is Gabby Grohovats with Chanel, a Pyrenean sheepdog. And Gabby has been to the World Championships 18 times. That must be some sort of world record, is it not? It's amazing, especially coming from South Africa. Nice weave entry there. Unfortunately, the dog pops out of the weaves. She has to finish it off. She gets five faults for that. Dog turns the wrong way on 10 and is eliminated, unfortunately. We are still looking at dogs who are disqualified yesterday that really have no chance of any placements in the in the total, but they can still make some very nice runs. Coming up now, we have Werner Gold with Esmeralda. He's won silver at the World Championships in 2014, and he also has a silver medal from the European Open. Look this at the determination here. They really want to put this course in its place. He also goes on the back outside oh. of the tire for a perfect weave entry. What independence by Esmeralda here. Oh. No! He is trusting the independence, but she misses the jump, and he is behind, yep. and she goes into the tunnel. That refusal just put him too far behind to attempt that. Too bad, too bad. Wow, this course, we have one clean run, and we have eight eliminations so far. Another... So unfortunate there. Oh, too bad, Werner. Another South African getting ready now at the start line. This is Rob Hall and his Mr. T, who showed some insecurity about the, uh, the judge and the audience yesterday. He kept poking around, not feeling very confident here. And we can see the same tendencies today. Let's hope that Rob gets him confidently through the course. He obviously nice has weave skills. entry there. Beautiful. And nice weaves. Mr. T is picking up speed. Line cross onto the oh, dog walk. Oh, look at that. Wow, and a nice running contact. This is looking good for Mr. T. Mr. T is clean going over the A frame, coming onto this last stretch. Oh my lord, yes. he's going to be wow. clean. Let's check out this last turn. A little bit wide, but he's clean. 
51-52. Well done, Rob and Mr. T. What a nice run to have after the run yesterday where Mr. T was too worried to go in the weaves. Next up is Bosena Schroeder, a strong German team. Her dog, Puck. They were unfortunate yesterday as Puck went to the wrong side of jump number 10 in the jumpers run and was eliminated. Wow. But they are strong. Wow. That is that. impressive independence there by Puck. I'm sure she's looking to get us. Great run, but unfortunately, picking up a refusal after the dog walk. That is a tricky, tricky sequence with a fast dog. <laughs> Very nice, going on the outside of the tunnel, and he turns That's perfectly. The tightest turn from 21 to 22 we've seen today. Lovely run there. And very fast, despite that refusal. 39-16. The Germans are really competitive. The first Norwegian today is Mina Mathiesen and her chef G. Eva. Doing well so far. Nice turn onto the seesaw. Perfect seesaw. Will she get the weave entry? Yes. She does. Now for this tricky part with the dog walk. Looking nice. Can she do the oot? Oh. No. Dog didn't look at the tunnel at all, but went to the wrong side of the jump. How unfortunate. Another elimination. So far, we have two clean runs from Lithuania and from South Africa. We have one run with five faults, and the rest are eliminated. How about that? This is team number 14 out of Hungary. Chilla, Fodor, and Feni appear up. Ooh. So there's a risk in running that line that you will take a step over the dog walk. Yes, and we know that's contact. not allowed. That's not allowed, so they have to run around the dog walk. Unfortunately, Chilla and Fenny are eliminated for going into that tunnel trap under the dog walk. We are starting to hate that tunnel number four there. Wow, that, <laughs> those are some nice running contacts straight into the tunnel. And Chile just says, whatever, let's go have a party backstage. Okay. Second Norwegian of the day. This is six-year-old Mette Sambaken running her shelty Ellie. Getting ready to start. Mette insists that Ellie does a lot. Lie down before starting. Oh, she's ready. And we hear the Norwegian screaming in the audience, but no, oh, no, no, no. Ellie misses the tunnel as Meta takes off to get to number five. We have a refusal. Nicely into the weaves there. Now here comes the tricky part. Let's see if she can do the dog walk. She can. Oh! And she gets a refusal. I, Nicola is very strict on refusals. One hesitation close to the jump and his arm goes into the air. So you need to be very smooth. Oh, oh. no, too bad. Elimination for Meta there. But she goes all the way. To the end. And the Norwegians style. are clapping for Mette. Very nice and rewarding, of course. First Canadian team of the day. This is Megan Turton and her Shelty Jazz. We are still in the group of dogs that were eliminated yesterday. And we have another elimination for Megan and Jazz at jump number three. This is a young handler, only 17 years old, but she's already been competing internationally for at least three years. That Her is Shelty impressive. Jazz is eight years old. Very nice turn there. No hesitation going up on the dog walk. 
Oh, she makes a beautiful line from the dog walk on, on to 13. Yes. And one of the nicest we've seen so far. Good handling there. Also, very nice rear cross there, picking the dog out up out of the tunnel. She gets a wide turn, but... That last turn, Fanny, I really think that's going to be an important one when yes. we're starting to count hundreds and tenths towards the end here. Definitely. Next up from Slovakia, we have Susanna Vetrakova and her Parson Terrier, Bond. She's running fast. And Bond is too. Up onto the seesaw. He gets it and he gets the weave entry. Looking good. Now comes the tricky part. Up onto the eight. Oh, no. the Terriers with their tunnels. Too bad there for Susanna. Was running so elegantly and nicely with her dog. She just keeps on going for a very nice, smooth run without a dog walk. Don't you take the tunnel? That's good. She was on him there. <laughs> Nice. She must be pleased with that run, even though they didn't get the dog war. I know I would be. Team. From Hungary, we have Agnes Axkovesi with Ike, an apricot poodle. And I know she's been running apricot poodles for a long time at the World Championships. Before Ike, she was competing with Epi. Very nice weave entry. Wow. Looking so good. Will she get him onto the dog walk? Yes. She will. Oh. And straight into that tunnel, those tunnel traps. Put him looking slightly confused as he came out of that. What do you mean? I was perfect. <laughs> I'm the perfect poodle. So fast, this poodle. And Agnes, too, is a good runner. Ike and Agnes are team number 18 out of a total of 72 dogs that we're going to see running in the medium finals here today. We still have three teams that have gone through this course without elimination. From Canada, we have Kim Boyce and Sprite. Oh, that's a fault on the seesaw and a refusal in the weaves. Very tricky sequence. And we have another elimination, unfortunately. As so many times with agility, one mistake usually becomes multiple mistakes because you lose your flow, you're a little bit off with timing. Still in the lead, the first dog we saw running, Jaspis from Lithuania. Now it's time for Denmark, and Denmark are already quite high on adrenaline because they had just had gold in small. This is Susanne Rutnes out of Denmark with her Kronfolender, Gabi. Very nice start there. Beautiful turn. Great seesaw. Wow, this is looking nice. What a weave entry. Wow. She's in control now all the let's way. Let's see, let's see. Oh! That was a new one. Dog didn't read her blind cross, went straight over the wall jump. Many of these Parson Terriers are quite Independent and this going is a fast. Lander. Sorry, but it yes. But very independent and fast, picking its lines on its own. I got this. Unfortunate. Let's see that again. She blind crosses maybe a tad late. Oh, the dog yes. goes over the wall jump. Wow. From the Netherlands, we have Hoki, the Pumi, with Marian Buskud. One refusal for Hoki. And 
and the fly off on the teeter. Does the Pumi like the dog walk? It does. Her stopped contact, which keeps her oh, in control. Oh, look at that line. That is beautiful. This is one of the, the sequences where a stopped dog walk might give you an advantage Actually, in not getting, yes. not getting eliminated. But if you can do this with a running dog walk, that's obviously the fastest option. We have 10 faults, which puts them into fourth place so far. Our first Russian of the day is Elena Kochetova with her Moody Kimi. Oh, Kimi's ready. <laughs> She's not staying. <laughs> what a cutie. Good Super thing, ready. Good thing she put the dog far back. <laughs> Very fast dog. My Will she word. Get around? She yes. does. And sliding. Nice. nice, nice, nice. No. Unfortunate. Just that hesitation of the handler as the dog almost jumped off the seesaw, made her go that down. But that is, is the amazing. coolest thing I've seen all day, my word. These Russians with their independence, oh. it's just unfortunately an elimination, but they show off some crazy handling skills. We have to see skills. that again. Oh yes, my please God. let us see that again. Coming off the dog walk, perfect hit on the down contact and just so flicking nice. her over wow, that. Wow, wow, wow. I, I don't even begin how to, to understand how that is possible. Here's All right. Finland, Villa Liuka with Ronia. Ronia is a Spanish water dog. And Villa is actually running two Spanish water dogs in these finals. This dog had nice flew onto the dog walk. Yes. Oh, oh missed contact. This dog, was, this dog was third in individual agility at the European Open, so for sure it's a fast, capable dog. Perfect Very line nice. over 20. And he's there. going the back side of the tunnel. Perfect turn. Yes. Five faults, 39 93. If the dog is able to hear you there, from the back side of 21, as you call it, you can actually get a perfect line over the last obstacle. Two more dogs in the group that disqualified from yesterday. From the Netherlands, this is Wendy Willemse and Beat. They had a very nice run going yesterday, but were unfortunate at the double push. She was still very happy with that run as it was beautiful. She is giving it her all. Very nice. Oh, Still smooth clean. handling here. I have to admire the looks of this dog. It just looks so cool. I love that <coughs> hair. Just. Oh! oh! Ooh, no fault. Nice save. And I believe we have a clean run. 43-81. Well done, Wendy, and beat. Last disqualified dog from yesterday is American John Nitz out of Rhode Island, USA, and his dog Boss. And Wendy goes into first place in this run. <coughs> this is looking very good so far. John is an experienced handler. With his older dogs, he has an individual silver from 2010 and a team gold oh. for, from 2014. But we even have with a stop contact there and a nice blind after another boss elimination. Took charge and took the tunnel there. He was boss of that tunnel, that's for sure. Nice line there to the end. Oh, oh! And it picks <laughs> that, up an extra obstacle. That was a new one. How unfortunate for John. That was such a nice run up until that tunnel. Now, he's we crossing, are... and it probably doesn't give the dog the view of the jump there. Probably not. We are now entering this group of dogs 
who are faulted but not eliminated. So now it starts to get exciting here. Unfortunately, Chase and Cheryl Gobb from Luxembourg eliminated. And she's been to several world championships with Chase, so she is experienced, but anything can happen in a course like this. Very nice. Onto the dog walk. Wow, that is a smooth line. He had a slight hesitation, but he got it. And then they lose focus. I'm sure she's happy that she nailed that difficult sequence. For sure. Well done, Cheryl. And Dog goes under the dog walk instead of taking number three, which yeah. is an elimination. It is an elimination. We have a Swedish girl on the line, but she is competing for Portugal. Yes, Molin Quist with her miniature schnauzer, Penny. is a favorite in the stands because she is, in fact, Swedish. But running with the green colors of Portugal today. Unfortunately, we have a refusal into the weaves. She's late showing number 10, which puts the dog on the backside for an elimination. And the crowd are clapping for Marlin and Penny. The Swedes are giving her some love. That is nice. We are suckers for those unusual breeds. Nice to see a miniature schnauzer. And a In white one Cup. at that. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Almost a crash there, but it looks like Penny's okay. Out of the... Oh, yeah, here we see the refusal. Out of the USA, we have Kathleen Oswald with her dog, Whimsy. Whimsy doesn't look whimsy at all. He looks determined to, to make this course his own. Nice seesaw. She's running fast. Putting him in the weaves. Will she get around for number 10? She does. Yes. And she's behind. What will she do? She has a stop. Oh, oh wow. perfect. Wow. Clean so far. They made it through that tricky dog walk sequence. Well done, Kathleen. Let's see if she can do all the way. Oh, she even blind crosses there. Nice. That is tight, and it's clean. 42.90 puts them into first place, both combined and in this run. Now our commentary booth is right next to the Belgian supporters, and we can really feel them going mad now for Frank Gers running Shelty Doy, and they're off. Frank, they're careful not to step over the dog walk which would eliminate him. Oh! Loses some time on the seesaw, but he's still clean into the weaves. And now you have to run, Frank. He just waited too long to get around there and was eliminated. We're soon halfway through this. And we have one dog with a combined result, and that is Whimsy from the USA, with a total of 10 faults combined from today and yesterday. Look at this charming beagle. This is Din out of the Ukraine. And his handler, Daria Terokhina. Barking his way around the course. Oh, run, Daria. She made it. Nice seesaw for Din there. Nicely into the weaves. He has some opinions, this beagle. And he's vocalizing them. 
He is clean so far. He gets the contact. It's a perfect line over 13 going into 14 there. She rear crosses. She has to run to get him to 15. No problem. Up onto the A-frame. Nice contact. They are clean and looking good. Very good. Just one jump to go. Will she get a run? Don't crush. Oh, 52, nice. 53. Well done, Daria. Very nice run. Ooh, look at that. This will probably give her some Ooh. time faults, unfortunately. 2.53 at the moment. Right now running is Polish team Iwona Kalisz and her poodle Pepe. Fast poodle. Perfect weave entry. Wow. Will she get around? Ivona gets yes. around. And now she needs to make that onto the dog walk. Wow. She does. And it's a running contact. Unfortunately, faulted. Very nice handling there. Unfortunately, dog didn't hit the contact. So that's five faults. <laughs> she knows Ooh. her poodle. She has oh, to call him off that tunnel. Yes. She does. Nice. That is beautiful. 39.44. Excellent time, but with that contact fault. Yes. Pepper the Poodle still goes into first place combined with five faults. No, 11.01 time faults. Of course, time faults. faults. And a little... This is French runner Renaud Castellan with his dog Demeter. They this were part is of an the experienced team. Yeah, they were part of the of the team who won gold on Friday. Looking very good. Five faults, but smooth handling. Oh, oh no! No, another elimination. Demeter likes that tunnel, unfortunately. I'm sorry, we still have Din the Beagle in first place with 9.85 faults. Team number 33 is from Finland. This is Auti Leppanen with her Koiker, Oli. Fortunate refusal there on three, but they keep going. Very nice seesaw. Perfect weave entry, and she is ahead of her dog to give the perfect line to oh, 10. Oh, look at that. I really like that. Up there onto the goes. dog walk. And she missed the contact, unfortunately. Dog actually looking at the judge there going down of that contact. <laughs> Don't you dare yeah. give me a fault, but he <laughs> did. Very nice fast running oh. from them both. And in a good get position out of to the get way. a tight Perfect turn to 22. Turn. 43, 79 with 10 folds. Arena going wild now for the Swedish team. Hanna Wendestem and Liam. Liam and Hanna are veterans. Liam is nine years old and he's been here before. He knows what this is all about. He's a very small Sheltie for the medium category. But he is fast and oh. just not getting off to a good start there. Elimination before the first tunnel. And she rear crosses the weaves, that's very nice. She's in a perfect position for 10. Good blind onto the dog walk. And he gets that contact. And the Swedes are clapping all the way for Hanna and Liam. Nice line in the end there. Just very smooth, nice handling from Hanna. Yeah. She just got behind in the start, couldn't recover, and um, gets a wrong jump going into number four. Yes. Out of the Netherlands, this is Roy Fontaine and his Sheltie Funske. Nice line, he's quite behind, but he gets that number five jump. Roy's no fast. Good seesaw. 
nicely into the weaves. Let's see what Sunsky thinks about the dog walk. It's okay going on. Oh, oh. that's a major leap off, and Nicola does not like that. Hand in the air. Come on now, all the way. Don't give up. Keep he working. He wants the audience to cheer. Throw is throwing his hands in the air. Cheer for us. And that gets the speed up. Oh, nice. Woo! Woo! Well done. What a feeling. Crossing the finish line at the World Championship with your dog. And one of our predicted favorites out of um, Slovenia is, of course, superstar Silvia Trkman with... Wow, Lay. she is behind. Look at this. her brilliant skills just saves the day. Wow, nice seesaw. Oh, Perfect weave what entry. is that? What is that even? Wow, so nice. Early. Let's see cross. the contact and the backside. Silvia, you're my hero. That is just pure magic. Oh. This is so exciting. Will they get the finish? Oh, wow. oh she... no! That is the most unfortunate oh, elimination I've seen no. today. Who would have known that that would be a problem? Lei, of course, is super tight there and obedient going over 20. What do you want, Mom? Didn't catch that tunnel, but that they are always happy together. That was such a beautiful run. We are oh, devastated. Oh, my Lord. Goosebumps all over. Silvia Ooh. is perfect. We are taking a break because we need to cool down after we that. We do. <laughs> so we'll be right back with more exciting agility. Thank you. We are back to look at some results so far. Uh, let's see. These are combined standing. Yes, we have the Beagle, Din, from the Ukraine. He's in the lead in front of Kathleen Oswald and Wimsey from the USA. And Roy Fontaine and Funske on third. Five combined results so far. And Still we've... some 35 dogs to go. Yes, we are going into the most exciting part of this championship, where the clean runs from yesterday will start at number 43. We're at yes. number 37. Now coming up are some very fast dogs who had five folds out of yesterday. Yes. Quite a lot of our predicted favorites um, are sort of out with their faults or eliminations. And now, for example, reigning champion Daniel Schroeder, he got a very unfortunate five faults on his dog. Cashew knocked the second to last bar. Something we didn't actually realize because we thought we, he was clean, didn't we, Fanny? We did. And, and so did we most did. of the audience. Yes. Uh, however, Judge Andrea Silverberg did register the knock bar, which pushed Daniel and Cashew all the way down to 33rd place. I also have some news for those of you wondering what happened to that super fast terrier that was supposed to run in the small dog final at the very end. Unfortunately, Dita had um, an injury to her, one of her nails and couldn't run today. So let's hope that all of the medium dogs are fit for fight so that we can see them all in this for final. Sure. The second fastest dog from the team jumping, Brazilian Bina, with her handler, Jose Luis Filho, also have five folds and are coming up now. In a few. In a few dogs. dogs. So right now, getting ready, we have a French Moody named Ta with Michael Renault. He's sharing the last name with our judge today. Are they related? Do you know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's probably a common French name. Probably. And we have a fly-off at the teeter. Nice weave entry. That is a fast moody. By me. Oh, flying contact as well, and an elimination. Oh. Oh. Showing some love for his moody there, Mikael. I'm such a sucker for these handlers who are so nice to their dogs and happy no matter what. Makes me 
thoroughly happy to see. Look at that, kissing, hugging, waving to the audience. Okay, Beautiful. again, we have Vila Lioca with Udi. His second Spanish water dog of the day in the finals. It's quite five, impressive in itself. Five faults from yesterday, unfortunately, giving his all in this run. Oh, that his is unfortunate. Still in the weaves. He gets behind, wraps 10, onto the dog walk. And oh, Odi an goes into the tunnel. That wrapping of obstacle 10, Funny, what do you think about that? We were discussing earlier, it might be cl more clever to take the long run there. I think I oh. think the, the slice of 10 is more time efficient than the wrap. Gives it the is, better line. And gives you absolutely a better line onto the dog walk. Yes, but I think he just got behind and decided I'll wrap that. Probably. Okay, one of the fastest dogs in this class. This is Bina and her Brazilian handler, Jose Luis Filho. A border collie, not very common in the medium class, but we do have some of them here. Very small border collie to get into medium, but they're all Thoroughly measured by FCI judges, so they are Look under at 43. Those weaves, Bina, that was impressive. Let's see if he can do the backside of 13 now. We no. cannot. Very nice run up to then. Beautiful dog, very fast, very responsive. Taking the wrong side of that. Oh. Careful. Number 13 jump. Might just be the handler being too afraid of the tunnel, calling too much, and then the dog comes to the wrong side of the oh, jump. Absolutely. Now, my predicted winner of this whole circus is reigning champion Daniel Skröder of Cashew. Now, we cannot because he has five faults coming out of yesterday with that knocked bar, but let's see what beautiful agility looks like. And the arena is quiet as Cashew goes onto the seesaw into the weaves this is looking very nice oh my fast Daniel. he's going on the outside of the <laughs> i wow. don't even another knock bar that was beautiful he's just very unfortunate and what an efficient helper getting out of the way good well 36 done. 22. of course the best time we've seen but unfortunate knock bar for Cashew today as well as yesterday. But that run past the dog walk into the backside of 13 there is one of the most full, elegant full things control, I've seen. Full control, full speed, very, very nice. There are just no questions when Daniel handles. Just beautiful. Next up from Luxembourg, this is Jill Whistler with her border collie, Rocky. This no, is it's a border, border terrier. terrier. It, says border. Border collie <laughs> it says border collie in our collie. <laughs> papers. But I, we know, better check I that. know enough about border collies. Are to you know that sure? That is not a border you collie. are a border collie breeder, but they come in all different sizes and shapes. It's funny. <laughs> they do. I, I, I think this is a border terrier. <laughs> Pretty sure. And it's a nice border terrier. They're doing well so far. Yes. <sighs> Clean so far. Nice blind up onto the dog walk. Now comes the tricky part. Gets the contact, gets the outside of that jump. Very nice. And just getting a clean run on this course can take you very far. It can. Very nice. Get out of the way. Yes, she does. And Rocky's clean with a time of 48. 51. 51. So we're down to dogs with time faults from yesterday. Yes. Team number 42 here is Luis Narciso out of Portugal with Spicy. And Rocky, the Border Terrier, goes into first place combined with that clean run. He is behind, dog is spinning, but he's still clean. 
It's a hit. We have a lot of spinning and hesitation on the course. But Hence that, the time faults from yesterday, I yes, think. Yes, that <gasps> takes time, but they are clean so far. Unfortunate oh. there. And Luis sits down in despair of that elimination. But he gets back up and is ready to finish. Going into 21 and going over that last obstacle. Now, Fanny, we have the 30 last dogs. All of them are clean. Yes. So now, basically, anything can happen. Yes. So looking at the combined standings, we have Jill Whistler from the Netherlands in first place. The Border Terrier, we have the Beagle second. And we have a Japanese poodle on the line. This is Rock. First clean from yesterday, Shigeru Arai running fast there, getting his poodle around six and onto the seesaw. Five he folds. hesitates there, Nicola, but he gives five folds for the seesaw. He wraps also number up. 10, front crosses onto the dog walk. It's uh, another fault. Good, nice, obedient dog there, very responsive. Oh, beautiful line from 21 to 22. Very nice. And Shigeru Arai and Rock. Managed In the standings for this class, we still have Kathleen Oswald and Wimsey at first place. Clean run 42-90. Another Japanese poodle coming up here. This is Hiroyuku Kumatsu with Hibiki. Very nice seesaw, perfectly into the weaves. Very smooth handling here. Late blind crossing, but gets the dog onto the dog walk. Oh, and no. unfortunately into the tunnel. Oh, Hibiki, you did love that tunnel. Let's see if they can finish in style. Uh, Another he, tunnel. He likes the tunnel a lot. Watch it. Ooh. I'm a little bit scared of a, a, a handler dog crash coming out of 21 there. We've seen several almost yes. so far. So handler still showing forward acceleration as the dog is coming off the dog walk, which puts him in the tunnel. Next team out of Poland. Barbara Szlonkowska with Rudzia. Nicely into the weaves. And, and we it's have a refusal. A refusal. Nicely, uh, nice <laughs> running contact. That is beautiful Very hit. nice. Nice, well done. Just five faults in a time of 1497. And it's the third Japanese poodle of this last group here. This is Maki in the Wu with her poodle Timo. Timo's got its bangs in a in a hairband there so that it can see where it's going and it's really going fast. Nice seesaw coming into the weaves and it's got it. Nicely onto the dog walk. Nice oh, contact. It's a stop contact. Still clean. No. A refusal. I was hoping to get our first double clean of today. 
Very nice context. <laughs> Look, the poodle is looking at Nicola. Like, he's are you just, seeing this? Yes, are you seeing how awesome off. I am? Just showing off. A little bit insecure now from the stance. Good job there. By Maki. Help her up. Come on. There's Mama. And they're done. Well done. Very impressive contacts from a dog that is obviously a little bit worried about the situation. Those are some well-trained contacts. For sure. From Slovenia, coming up now, a Pume called Zin and handler Ugrin Babunski. Nice handling. He's a fast runner. Oh, he is. Beautiful seesaw. And let's see the line now to the dog walk. Oh, yes. Unfortunate five faults, and it's an elimination again. That's the most tempting thing there, that tunnel. Still in first place combined, we have the Border Terrier. In second place, we have Rudzia, the Pirschep from Poland. Now is a Latvian team. This is Elita Umbrasko and Shelty Lita. And Elita and Lita are off to a very good start. Nicely into the weaves, very independent. And very independent exit as well. Wow. Gives her a great line to 10. Let's see what she does with 13 now. Nice good hit. running contact, perfectly into 14. Keep it together now, we want a clean run. Very nice. Holds Just her this dog. tricky sequence left. Oh, it's the backside. And get around. Please get don't around. crash oh. with your dog. Oh, my Lord. She gets five oh. faults for that crash out of the tunnel. Yes. When handler and dog oh. touch each other, that will result in a five fault. Too bad there. It was looking so smooth, so nicely. Yes. So unfortunate. We were really hoping to get that double clean. For sure. Parson Terrier Essie now from Estonia with handler Natalie Haponen. We have a refusal, unfortunately. Fast, efficient Terrier. Great seesaw. Get around those weaves. Yes. She goes on the. Oh, we have it's a bar pole. down. Oh, oh. <laughs> even with that very, very. Efficient handling where she was placed. The, the person loved the tunnel too much. So we have our top three. Jill Whistler from the Netherlands with Rocky. We have Barbara Szmonkowska from Poland and Elita Umbrasko with Lita on third. This course, it is important to be able to get ahead of your dog in the start, unless you're Sylvia Turkman. Unless you're Sylvia, of course. Then no, no rules apply. <laughs> this is Spain, Irena Montalvo Hortal. With, with a Brazilian terrier. That's another an unusual cool breed. breed. It's an awesome dog. It looks athletic, and I don't know this breed at all. Brazilian terrier. They surprisingly have a lot in common with the Swedish Danish farm dogs. Really? I think. Look quite a lot like each other. We have yeah. five faults on that. Dog walk. Still no double cleans. Another five faults picked up on the A-frame. Oh. <laughs> Good job. Very nice. Get out handling. of the way. Yes. Nice. Ten faults, 4158 for the Brazilian Terrier from Spain. Look at that. Almost like a little border collie, short haired border collie. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful dog. All right. Another Estonian team. This is Kaisa Tsaro with Lizzie Ashelti. They look very good. Fast dogs. 
Perfect seesaw. Nicely into the weaves. Those are some fast weaves. She Kaisa gets the blind crossing. moving efficiently. She's running there to get that. Oh, that's a nice backside of 13 there. Crowd is applauding. That was very nice. Super elegant handling here going Let's on. Bring this home, Estonia. It's looking so good. Now oh, get wow, out of get the out way. Of way. So yes. good. Wow, 39.67. A yeah, decent time and clean. I'm happy to see that. This should put them into first combined. Look at that Chelsea goal. So tight and elegant. And this also puts her in the lead for this run in front of Kathleen from the USA. We have Jess, the Parson Russell Terrier from Italy with Giulia Mortillo. It's looking very good so far. Going on to the dog walk. She's running the outside there and the dog goes into the tunnel for another elimination. Getting five on the dog walk there and going into the tunnel seemed to be recurring double mistake <laughs> it is hard to run on that side yeah. of the dog walk and show the dog that jump instead of the tunnel germany is getting ready joachim graf looking very determined now here with his manchester Come terrier Cassiazzaro in first place, the only double clean run. Joachim showing his terror the way very smoothly. Going to the dog walk. Very Takes nice running. Hit. He's running fast. Will we have another clean run that can challenge? Now watch your 20 here. Yes, it's gorgeously done. Ooh. He's out of the way. Perfect nice. line. Yes, it's clean. 40, 84. That is a second slower than Cassia and Lissy. So will this put them into first or second place? They go into second place. Cassia still keeping the lead. We have Radka Mokrisova with EC on the course. She represents the Czech Republic. With a and and she dog. is looking really nice. She's going on that oh, side of the dog she's doing walk. right side. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's a missed contact. Missed contact, some miscommunication, but they're still on track. Oh, too bad. Too bad. Just a little bit too much recalling of the dog there, making it come wrong side of 20. We have two double cleans and one five faults on the podium right now. This is beautiful Shetland Sheik dog gem with Brazilian handler Viviana Especian. Missed the contact on the seesaw. That is unusual. It was fast, but it flew off over the yellow. And an elimination, unfortunately. Doing some extra obstacles on their way off the course, having fun with her dog. Just too late around those weep poles, leading to an elimination. Now, Kaisa Tsaru just ran five dogs ago, and here she is again, this time with Zareen. Or yes. Zira, as she's called. She's still in the lead, but she has the chance to get another dog into the top. Unfortunately, we have a refusal at the weaves.
What an achievement from Kaisa, having two dogs clean from yesterday. Yeah, that is quite impressive. But when you see her run, you can see how she makes that happen because this is a really elegant and efficient handler. Showing wow, some great yes. skills with her dogs as well. A little bit wide in the end there. 40-90 with five falls. Well done. And the British are cheering because we have Haley Telling with Teal on the start line. Ooh. Oh, oh. She was in the way of the dog, no faults picked up. And she's trusting that seesaw and goes right up to oh, the my, rebound that's tree. Beautiful. Very nice. Let's see the dog walk now. Yes. And it's a hit, a deep, nice hit. Beautiful running contact, <laughs> beautifully handled. They are clean so far. Look at these guys go. Side 18, 19. And now this tricky oh, part. No! I did not see that coming. Dog takes the first time. Unusual jump. mistake. Oh, yeah. And as with many of the eliminated dogs, you get a bit nonchalant there towards the end and you, you don't. She is focusing on her next obstacle and the dog is focusing on another. Yep. So Kaisa goes into third place with that five fold run. She's now first and third. We have a Cocker Spaniel on the course from Spain. This is Jesus Fernandez Crespo and Moca. Looking very good so far. Come on, move. Look at this Cocker goal. Oh. Into the tunnel, we have an elimination. Too bad. Nice and charming team. Impressive Cocker Spaniel. Yes. Get out of the way. Oh. <sighs> I'm so worried for this, the eliminated teams because they tend to crash out of that last tunnel. Yes. But now they're making noise. For Sweden, we have Eleanor Molin and Liv. They're from the south of Sweden, so they should feel right at home here in Kristianstad. Run, Eleanor. Up onto the seesaw. And we have a fly-off, unfortunately. Perfect weave entry. She's now running for third place. She needs a good time to do that. Oh, bye-bye. Nice running contact, but Liv goes into the tunnel as so many dogs before her. When we see statistics of this run, we'll see a lot of that. It will be a big circle around that 21 tunnel. Yes. Yeah. Very unfortunate for Liv and Eleanor from Sweden. The Swedes are cheering for them all the way anyway. It must feel great. I can't even imagine running home ground like this for the Swedes. Special feeling. This is Milo, Shetland Sheepdog, coming from Switzerland with his handler, Claudia Schwab. And she had a very nice run in the small dog final with her other Sheltie, Mitch. This is looking good. She's running all the way to the weave entry. Now she has to hurry to get around. Some hesitation, but she gets that jump. See the dog walk. Aha, it's a good hit. And she <laughs> barely gets out of the way, but they are clean. Will we get another double clean? Oh. oh. Any double clean now will get you onto the podium for now. Very yes. nice tight turn. 40-54. That's Claudia straight to the lead, I think. From Belgium, we're getting ready. Claudia goes into second place. Oh, look Kaisa at that. still remaining in the lead. From Belgium, we have a border collie that's 10 years old. 
His name is DD with Andy the Groot, and this is their last championship run ever for this old dog. You can't tell it's an old dog. Really can't. Could have been a two-year-old dog for all that I can see. So you said it's their last agility run ever? Yes. That is actually very moving. It is, and it's looking so good. What a great career it's had, this uh, DD. Five folds picked up on the A-frame. Yes, they took second place in 2015. They are wow. experienced and they are fast. Last Before. obstacle of a career. That has to break your heart. Yes. Fantastic. Well done, Andy. Some hugs going around for their last run. My, I'm tearing up. I am too. Okay. <laughs> but next, unfortunately, from Spain, this is Francisco Medi Medina Valdivia with Sasha, a Spanish water dog. A stylish looking Spanish water dog. I love it when they're styled their hair <laughs> like that. It's beautiful. Oh no! Oh, wrong side of 10. We haven't seen that before, but anything can happen on this course. So, combined standings. Kaisa from Estonia still in first place. Claudia Schwab from Switzerland second. And the Manchester Terrier from Germany third. Great looking dog. And now Bl Brown Moody getting ready at the start line. This is from Brazil, Cora and Felipe Minet. Nice seesaw. Perfect weave entry. Get around those weaves. Very smooth line. He's oh, he's going running, on he's going for right it. Side. It's a running, it's a perfect 13. Wow. wow. This Nicola. is looking very good. Go Brazil. It's a back lap. Oh. Yay! 38.59. What an excellent time. 38.59, and it's a clean run. That should put them straight to the top. Wow, Felipe, that was some smooth handling right there. Awesome little Brown Moody. They are almost two and a half seconds faster than number Imagine two. Imagine that. Okay, we're ready now for Russia, Svetlana Gushkina with Torpeda, a border collie. Let's see what they can do. Had Clean so far. Very wide turn there, but might be able to make up for that with some skills and speed. Look Russians at that. Russians are known for their independence here. Behaviors that can just take your breath away. Let's see the 13. Oh, my Lord. Crowd is ha, going ha, wild. Ha. I don't think I can ever go to watch agility in Russia. Unfortunately, <laughs> a dropped bar. It's just too much, the skills here. Wow, well done. 40 28. One drop bar. Okay. We have Belgium on the line again. Tom Elson with his Shelty Lupe. And we see, as you can see in the combined standings, Brazil goes straight to the lead. Nice seesaw. Very nice weave entry. This is looking good for Belgium. Ooh. Almost missed the dog walk, but he's on track. Still clean. Oh, so close. Just one more jump. Can he get that turn? Oh, Wide turn. It's 39 clean. 32. My word. With only seven dogs to go now, all of them clean. Really, anything can happen. He goes into second place. Cora from Brazil still in the lead with that amazing run. Two Czech teams left in the top seven. This is Eliska Kaletova with Jive. Very fast little Shelty. Oh, that it's is a, a perfect seesaw. seesaw. 
Getting around there, creating a good line for her dog. She's going on that side, will she make it? Yes. Even with a blind, wow. You have to admire these top handlers. So there for their dogs. Let's see her do the 20. It's perfect. Looking so good. My word, it's a clean run, 38-92. Where does that put her? It puts her into the lead. Straight to the top, yes. fantastic. It's not the fastest run of the day, that's still Cora, but she was faster yesterday, putting her into the lead for the combined results. Now, and now veteran Martina Klimesova with Kiki, superstars. Such a career they've had. Let's see what they can do here. She's such an awesome runner, Martina. Martina has been on the podium for six world championships in a row, and she's already won team silver, I think, in the medium. Wow. What that is that? Is, is that even humanly possible? <laughs> that is so beautiful. This dog used to have a stop contact, but it's now retrained to a running, and it's beautiful. <laughs> wow. Martina, wow. get out of the way. Come oh, on, my Lord. 23. With five wow. dogs to go, that's wow. straight into the lead wow. for Martina. Yes. Sorry, four dogs. No, five dogs to go. Five dogs to go. They're in the lead total. Oh. They're in the lead in this run. We have two Czech teams on the podium. Number one, Martina Klimashova. Number two, Alicia Kaletova. And then the Brazilians on third. This is Polish team Magdalena Domanska and Mora. Her Pirshep, they're looking awesome too. Now we're really in the top here. Everything you're going to see wide from turn here there on out is going to be awesome seesaw. agility. A little bit wide. Let's see how she does. a hit yes. it's awesome distance handling these handlers and dogs are truly <laughs> amazing these are top athletes just a th true pleasure to watch so oh just one jump to go my. can they beat martina and kiki i don't think so beautifully handled wow look at that flick <gasps> Okay, top four dogs, people. It's really getting exciting now. This is Jennifer Crank out of the USA with her Swift. And trust me, they are Swift. <laughs> Magdalena and Mora goes into second place. Martina and Kiki still in the lead. Oh. Whoa, get around that dog Couple walk. of tens lost there on that slight misunderstanding. Perfect, wow. Isa. Two on two off contact. Wow. Look at this. She is running on the right side of the dog walk and blinds. Very nice. Oh, my. Will they be able to match Martina and Kiki on speed? She gets a five. On oh, no. The he canceled it. He I canceled think. It. I think he canceled it. Let's see. Yes. They're still oh, clean. nice. They're still clean. Yes. Wow. 38.70. 38. Where does that put the American? It should put them. Ooh. I have to stand up now. They this are second. is top three. Martina and Kiki still in the lead. And we have another Moody from Sweden. You can hear Six year old Bonnie with Anne Carlson. And the Swedes are so nervous. You can hear a pin drop in the arena at this point. On lane third place from yesterday. Clean so far. My word. Look at that fast Moody. Oh my lord, that is an awesome weave entrance. Oh, <laughs> nice bar. Missed contact. Too bad. Oh, that is Anna bad. looks so calm and collected. Look at her. She is like the role model for cool right now. Yes, and it doesn't look that fast, but this is a fast dog. Oh, it is. Yeah, nice time. 39.42. Wow. Bad. Okay, so in 
a tie from yesterday was German Silas Buck and Norwegian Ina Himmler. Silas will run first, Ina will follow Swift. Whew. Now we're finding out who's going to be world champion 2018. We know that Martina and Kiki will take another medal at this It's just amazing, just, just. But can these two handlers challenge her for the gold. Silas looking so, so focused now. It's a knock bar by Silas, oh my God. There goes his medal. But he keeps going. Oh my word. This Fantastic is so weave this entry. This is a very small Sheltie setting those amazing times. He's we have eliminated. He had to go for it. He had to run for it. Well done, Silas. You are truly amazing. We have no a medal, question about medal it. for Martina and Kiki. We have a medal for Jennifer Crank from the USA. Will Magdalena keep her bronze or will Ina Himle and we from Norway handle the pressure? This we. is so exciting. She does a lead out. She's taking her time. She's so cool, this young handler with her very young dog. It's a left going get up Ina that recovery is how amazing. is that even possible she fell down and she got up again it's a refusal oh and my Martina God. Klimasova is world champion go on Ina we come love you. on go all the way Ina you are amazing look at that speed look at that precision can you imagine falling in the finals? Uh, oh. Call them and they're done. And that's it. Oh my world. Experience trumps everything and world superstar Martina Magnoli Klimasova out of the Czech Republic. Yet another gold. Another gold for Kiki oh. at I think 10 years of age. Oh my God. It is just hugging the crew, hugging the judge here. Yes, telling that is, him that well is done. ring manager, Christina Mirefeld, talking to the judge. This is Martina. Oh, oh this, these are down. emotional scenes right here. Martina, humble as ever. <laughs> We're getting ready for a victory lap and a prize ceremony. So looking at the results from this run, we have Martina Klimashova with Kiki first. We have Felipe Minet from Brazil with Cora, the Moody second, double Moody on the podium for this run. And then we have Jennifer Crank with Swift in third. Total, we have Martina Klimashova with Kiki, gold. Jennifer Crank with Swift from the USA, silver. And Magdalena Domanska with Mora from Poland gets the bronze. That is amazing. I like that they reward the individual runs here as well, putting, you know, value into every single thing. I think that is amazing. Yeah. Ten years ago, it didn't used to be like that. We hardly knew who won an agility run because all focus was on Combined the total. results, yes. But now, look how happy Magdalena is for winning the bronze. Jenny Dam congratulating Martina and Kiki. Whew. Here are the combined results for uh, the medium individual. The top nine dogs are double plane. And Anne Carlson with Bonnie takes 10th place with her five faults from this run. The time there would have put her in third place. Yes, without <sighs> that miscontact, she would have taken the bronze. Oh my Lord. Unfortunate for Sweden. Ooh. Ina Himmler leading into the agility run ends up in 17th place. What a... Uh, Final. What a final. And what scenes now are playing out on this arena. The crew are dancing the Macarena. The winners are getting ready to do their victory lap. Pictures are being taken, hugs are being given. 
Yes, we are waiting for the announcement and the victory lap. And with that, we will leave you for this class. And Tony and I are saying thank you for this weekend as you will be talking or be talked to by Sophie and Emma for the Large Dog Finals. We've had a much. lovely time guiding you guys through this. Thank you so much for the love and the support online and here in the arena. That's Thank it for now. Thank you very much. Thank you and very bye. much. Bye bye. And we will start off with the agility class. In first place, from Czech Republic, Martina Klimensova with Kiki. Second place, from Brazil, Felipe Minet with Cora. Third place, from USA, Jennifer Crank with Swift.
guy that I'm so proud of her because it's our eighth world championship and she's 10 and a half years old. So I think we should really clap the hands for her. It's incredible what she did. Yes, and if you didn't get that, she's 10 and a half years old. Kiki. And the most important, she did it for me because like a puppy, she didn't like agility. So it's about the relationship. Thank you. Thank you, that was beautiful. Give it up for Martina.